Are you relying too much on your power meter? What I find these days is people are so obsessed with the data that they're losing track of what it takes for real performance. Now don't get me wrong, training with power and training with heart rate, training with cadence, all of these metrics, all of these devices and all of these ways of measuring performance are incredible and they do offer a lot of value. They offer a lot of tools for planning training as coaches, I use training peaks. I, I want all my clients on power, so I'm really for training with power. But when it comes to racing, that's a whole nother story. You know, when you're in a race, if you're constantly obsessing about your power numbers or any other data, you're not fully in the game. It may be different for a time trial where you have some specific pacing strategies or a triathlon where you know where you need to be so you don't overload your legs with lactate. That's something different. But what I'm talking about now is more pack racing, which require a lot of strategy. In those kind of situations, a power meter or obsessing about power numbers can be a negative. It's great to have the data for an analysis post event, but in the race, it's, it's not going to serve you. And here's why. Firstly, if you're on a climb as, uh, you know, like say for example, um, you're a professional and, you know, Team Sky is pulling on the front and they're pulling at 400 watts and you're told to attack, but you know you can't attack higher than 400 watts for more than a few minutes. Are you going to attack? Probably not. You're going to hold back, right? But if you're on an amazing day and you don't have that power data in front of you and you don't know they're pulling at 400 watts and you feel amazing, are you, um, are you going to hold back or are you going to attack? You're probably going to attack because you haven't limited yourself by looking at the power meter and seeing, wait a minute, this is too high power. I can't put out this power. Now, what I'm sharing right now is actually what Alberto Contador was talking about. He was saying how he thinks that power meters um, are not a good thing for racing and he's taken off his power meter for racing. And you saw in the Vuelta how aggressive he was day in and day out because he doesn't have that distraction anymore. Because when you're in a race, a lot of the times, you know, there's a lot of attacks, there's a lot of stop starts. So even though the perceived exertion, you may feel like you're going really hard, maybe the power doesn't reflect that because you have accumulation of fatigue, maybe accumulation of lactate in your legs. So that can be negative mentally. If you see, wait a minute, you know, I'm really hurting right now, but my power is really low, that might hurt you because you may think that you don't have good legs, but you've forgotten that you have all those hard efforts in your legs with limited recovery and that's why you feel the way you do and it's normal for your power to be lower. Also some of the best riders actually put out less power than the, than the other riders because they're more efficient, they know how to hide. So if your goal is always to have high power, you know that's a pretty amateur goal to have because really you should have the opposite goal, you should have low power, ride more efficiently and then save you know, the legs and the real power for when you need it, when it, whether it's a breakaway, up a climb, in a sprint, in a crosswind, that's when you need the power. But your goal should actually be to have low power because the real champions, they're really efficient. They know how to race. They know how to save their legs for the key moments and they know how to put out less power at the same speed. And that's really what wins races. So again, this is not a, anything against training or racing with power. It's really just about overly focusing on the data in a race can be negative for those reasons. So hope you guys enjoy that. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and also download your free training plan on my website, simonsayscycling.com. Wishing you all the best with your cycling.